Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Like it or not, it seems that the current bronze age of horology looks set to continue for some time to come with brands releasing model after model in CUSN8. And bronze isn't just the material of choice for micro brands either. Some big Swiss brands have got in in the act over recent years as well, including Panerai, Tudor, Mont Blanc, Zenith and Oris. Now, if you've never lived with a bronze watch long term, a big part of the appeal, I think, is watching them patina, some would say rust or corrode, over time and develop their own individual character. They're quite dynamic little things to live with. I personally love taking a bronze watch on holiday with me. They change over the course of a day if you're in and out the pool, in and out of the sea. It really is fascinating to watch. Some people take this to the extreme, spraying salt water on their watches and making them look like they've been part of the wreckage of the Titanic and underwater for a hundred years. I personally have done a bit of forced patina on bronze watches on the channel in the past, using eggs and various other bits and pieces to try and age them rapidly. Not everyone goes for that patina look though, and it is quite easy to keep your bronze watch in shiny, shiny, glowing condition with the simple aid of some household lemon juice and an old toothbrush. So that's what I'm going to do today then. It's a kind of a midterm report on my bronze Oris Big Crown Pointer date that I picked up at the beginning of this year. I'll let you know how I've been getting on with it. And then I'm going to freshen it up with the aid of nothing more than household lemon juice and an old toothbrush. Let's flip the camera and get on with it. I definitely do not mind a touch of bronze. These are the two bronze beauties in my collection currently. This is a Zelos Mako 2 meteorite dial, obviously full bronze case, bronze bezel. And on the right, it's the Oris Big Crown Pointer Day. Also bronze dial and full bronze case. Now the Zelos Mako 2 is a bit of a rebuy for me. I sold three watches last year that I shouldn't have sold. I've managed to track down and rebuy two of them and I'm working on the third. Uh, you can expect a video, fingers crossed, around mid-June by the time I hunt down the third and the second one arrives. But today it's all about the Oris, a lovely little watch. This is my second one of these brown Big Crown Pointer dates. It's quite a dainty watch, all things considered. It's a 40 mil in diameter, but it wears quite small for its size. Great for guys with smaller wrists or if you just fancy something a little bit more delicate. So that's the Oris on my wrist. I've got a seven inch wrist if you've forgotten. I mention it, I think, in just about every single video. Now that's just about average size. Great set of dimensions, really. 40 mil in diameter, 20, a kind of classic 40-20, 48 mil lug to lug and 12 mil thick. Now that is not a small set of dimensions. You know, some watches wear big at that set of dimensions, some watches wear small. And I think the Oris visually wears small and physically on the wrist it actually wears quite small as well. I think these are great for or guys with slightly smaller wrists. And I've seen a lot of people who have maybe six and a half inch wrists or thereabouts wearing these and really enjoying them as dailies. I've said it before, for me, this one fulfills a role as a bit of a left field dress watch. I don't own an out and out dress watch, not really my cup of tea to be honest, and they all tend to be quite expensive. So the Oris fills that role for me. I wear it occasionally when I'm at the theater or the opera. And a quick look at what is powering the beast before I take the strap off and start treating it with the lemon juice. Always nice to see that signature Oris Red Rotor there. They call this a Calibre 754. It's really a Salita 200 with that signature rotor on the back of it. Salita 200s, I think, are great movements for dailies. This one runs consistently at plus five, plus six seconds per day, which is, which is pretty great. That's almost optimal for a daily. And there we are, that's the extent of the equipment today. Some Aldi lemon juice and an Aldi toothbrush. Now, I'm not gonna be gross and show you a used one. This is a fresh one, but obviously if you've got an old toothbrush lying around the house or it's, it's time to change, then just use your old one, but do make sure you put it in the bin or in a hardware drawer rather than back in your bathroom cabinet afterwards. Soros makes this nice and easy for me by providing quick release spring bars on this lovely deer skin. It's kind of stag skin strap here, very nice effect on that. Nice and easy to remove those. Screw down the crown. There's 50 meters of water resistance on this one, which is going to be plenty for our purposes today. 
So let's do some before shots for a comparison. Like I said, I've had this one for about three and a half, four months now, wearing it occasionally. Obviously it's not a dive style watch, so it hasn't accompanied me to my trips to the beach or to the sea or even to the swimming pool. So maybe it hasn't patinaed quite as much as it would have had it been a more water oriented watch. But nonetheless, there is some significant change from new there. It's certainly not as fresh and shiny as it was on day one when it came out of the packet. As you can see, some kind of funny marks on the side. They all do patina slightly differently. You know, two watches, you'll never get the same patina on comparable watches. As I said, that is all part of the fun. All right, in the bowl, just add lemon juice. It's quarter past 10. Let's cover the thing entirely with the lemon juice and leave it, like I said, for about 15 minutes. That should be perfectly sufficient for our purposes. Okay, time's up. Let's pull it out of the lemon juice and you can hopefully see already, even from a distance, the transformation. It really is shiny, shiny and a lot paler than it used to be. Quick close up before I attack it with the toothbrush, although there is an argument that the toothbrush isn't really necessary. You can see yeah, a few spots here and there, but pretty much back to original already. Back in the lemon juice and I'll just give it a quick scrub for a minute or so. Okay, I'll just give it a quick rinse off under the tap. And there we go, obviously still showing certain signs of age here and there, but pretty much back to the box fresh finish. I'll throw in some before footage and then back to after and some before footage and then back to after. Now the reason I specifically decided to do it with this bronze dialed one rather than my old green one is because I think the contrast actually looks quite nice between the high polished bronze and the darker bronze on the dial. And that's it back on wrist looking if not quite factory fresh then certainly not far off it. I do like the three different tones happening here, the different textures of this kind of suede like stag skin strap, the high polished bronze and then that darker bronze on the dial. And there we are back to where we started and you can see the stark contrast between the Mako and the Oris. Interestingly enough, I got this Mako lightly used, it was a sample, and I lemon juiced it about three weeks ago when it arrived to freshen it up. So there we are. That's recently treated and that one is treated a few weeks ago. That's the beauty of bronze, everything's reversible. It'll just start the patina process all over again. So there you have it, your bronze watch doesn't have to look like a piece of shipwreck strapped to your wrist. The aid of a simple household ingredient like lemon juice can have it looking almost box fresh again in as little as 15 minutes. It will change again, and that's the whole point. These things really are quite dynamic. That bright red glow will fade after a couple of days and you'll be left with something that looks like it did the day you bought the watch. Obviously it will patina thereafter, but it's an easy process to repeat and repeat if you prefer shiny shiny to rusty rusty thanks for watching i will see you soon